Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new video for you all today. So as a part of doing 30 hours of revs, I did ask you guys in the comment section of that video if you wanted to see me try and kill revs for 100 hours total, basically so that we could see the overall price check and see just how good or bad revs could be. So that's exactly what I decided to do and that's why this video took just about one week to do. But I certainly did not mind that because revs are my most enjoyable thing to do on RuneScape at this current point in time. Uh, just considering all the things that can happen there, there. Uh, you never really know, you know, a small team can log in at any minute, and you do actually have pretty good opportunities to fight back, and obviously, after losing two Elder Mauls and an Armadillo Godsword just by getting smited, uh, I did learn, you know, what teams to attack and what teams to not. My only advice as it goes for that is it's all a numbers game, and you just gotta calculate the risk, uh, and if you're not risking an item that's an Armadillo Godsword or an Elder Maul, then I, you know, I don't really see the big point in sculling. I don't see uh, teams going out of their way to Ancient Mace you for a Blowpipe or a BGS, so yeah, I was really enjoying the anti-PKing, especially when I would get a kill. And I would say for every kill we got, we most likely died around five to six times, so it didn't really average out, but uh, certainly fun to fight back every now and then. And the reason that I decided to put so many PKing related clips in this video is because this is a PKing hotspot. As a matter of fact, I'd say this is probably the most popular PKing hotspot as, you know, the making of this video. Um, maybe in a couple months, revs will be very much died down, and you can camp them in a 2k total world, maybe with an alternate account, maybe with a cannon, uh, and a blowpipe, and make insane profit. But as it goes for this current time, uh, there was just a tremendous amount of teams and clans attacking me, and uh, that's why there's so many clips of me running away. Uh, there's clips of, you know, clans just randomly logging in, such as this one. And obviously, there's going to be some circumstances that you're just going to die. Uh, clans are just massive, and with javelins being so OP, and Bando's Godswords lowering your defense, I mean, there's just no chance of survival, especially when you get Dragon Spear spec and Zamorak God Sword spec. So the only advice I have for that is just don't bring anything that you're not willing to lose and just pick and choose your fights. Um, I would always have usually one or two guys there just killing revs with me so that if someone came, I was able to pile them and we would at least get one person to die uh, out of a small team and, you know, that was always worth the fight. So, yeah, as it goes for the drops, though, from revs, we were getting quite a bit of statues and as you can see, every time I was dying, I was losing my looting bag. So I would put all the normal drops and all the small drops in the looting bag and I would just collect the big drops and as soon as I would get a noted drop, uh, whether it be 100 or 500 or even a statue, I would teleport instantly right away not putting any drops at risk. And as it goes for the normal drop table, I was seeing a lot of dragon plate skirts, dragon daggers, as well as dragon plate legs, and it was seemed to be like all on the same drop table, especially the plate skirts and plate legs. I think we ended up getting 14 of each, which you guys will see in the price check. And as it goes for the statues, I was getting uh, really good RNG, a lot of totems, and we did end up getting more statuettes than anything. And as you can see here, the price check of that is two mil, and the street price might even be a little bit more than that. So it was really nice to receive so many emblems, so many statues, and statuettes. Um, as it goes for the normal drop table, I was trying to bank everything as soon as my looting bag would get about half full. Uh, looting bag is really critical to bring here, and if you are worried about dying and losing it, uh, just know that any rev that you kill can drop it again, so. And the reason that this guy was uh, flipping out was because I did receive three magic seed drops and one 100x noted drop, as well as one statuette in the course of about six hours. So there were certainly days that I would get nothing, you know, two 10-hour streams I would do actually back to back and I would get no rares, not one single statue, not one single 100x noted drop. And then the next day I would get, you know, five to six drops in one go and it would be incredible, but I guess that's just how RNG works at the end of the day. So another thing I love about revs is that you just don't know who you're going to meet there. You know, that lovely guy there saved my life and uh, took that other guy. So you just don't know what's going to happen. Um, the way that I was actually teleporting was I was going to the lava maze with a burning amulet and then I was just running east to uh, go to the cave. And when I would go there, I would always see, you know, small teams there usually doing some NH Britting and uh, you know I would run into the occasional guy like this and you know, look at that. You never know what's going to happen. And I did actually end up bringing a ballista towards the very end. Uh, I did mention before that my main weapon of choice was a blowpipe for the majority of this video because I did learn that the DPS on it is just too great compared to a godsword or an elder maul. As it goes for anti-PKing, I was just bringing a ballista, which is just under 1 mil. And as you can see in this clip, it's just massively OP. It gets a lot of smites every now and then. And I would also bring a DDS or a granite maul in case they would prey range. 
Uh, there's nothing worse than bringing a blowpipe and a ballista and someone praying range on you. Uh, you really can't do any damage at that point. Now, throughout this video, you guys have not seen any 100x dragon plate leg or plate skirt drops, and that is unfortunately because we did not receive them. However, I will say that uh, towards the very end, I had about two hours left of this 100 hour. We did receive 500 onyx bolt tips, which just right next to the ancient crystal that I received, um, that was the most expensive drop. So 4.2 mil from the onyxes, as well as I think at the street price currently of the ancient crystal it shows to be one mil in the grand exchange but i think it's actually about 3.5 to 4 so that was my second best drop uh, the onyxes were the first but yeah to recap before we get into the price check i just want to say a shout out to everyone at revs everyone who tried to kill me everyone who was killing revs with me it was honestly the most fun i've ever had even this guy who said bad vids and one hit me like a fucking pro with a rune crossbow shout out to him uh this was just so enjoyable and really brought back um this sounds kind of cringe but my love for the game and uh it was just so much fun so thank you everyone for being there uh as you can see the last 100x drop was 100 rune plate legs the very last hour of the video. I mean, you couldn't have timed that better. And then followed by, of course, a lovely ancient statuette. So, one more thing. Some guy that I saw here reminded me of uh, someone on YouTube that you guys may know of. This guy, I think, was trying to pretend to be a pyre fiend. So, maybe we'll see a video of, of that soon. Who knows? But, yeah, you gotta love the creativeness of, uh, of some people. But with all that being said, here we are at the final price check of the video. This is not live commentary, but I do want to say that if you're doing this on stream, obviously, you're going to be targeted more than someone who's not. Uh, also, I was doing this strictly at nighttime. The first uh, 30 hours of this video was made with an Elder Maul. The next 20 hours was made with a Bando's Godsword, and finally, the last 50 hours was made with a Blowpipe. So, Blowpipe did cost quite a bit, but the overall price check from just the normal drops ended up being 60.1 mil. Insane. Uh, absolutely insane. I was actually predicting about 40 mil from the normal drop, so um, definitely surpassed my expectations. As it goes for all of the rares that we received and the battle stabs as well, uh, on top of the 60 mil, that price check ended up coming to be just about 30.4 mil. Adding those two numbers together, you're just about 90 mil in total drops from 100 hours of killing revs. The overall kill count was 10,483 starting from the very first minute to the very last, and I will say that this was my by far favorite video that I've ever worked on. I said the same thing about 30 hours of Revenants, and I think it's just the combination of the new content and the RNG, especially the anti pking and even though we kind of started off the Revenant journey uh, by losing an Elder Maul not once but twice by two of the biggest PKing clans, uh, I do want to say that that didn't demotivate me. I know there's going to be a lot of comments below that say, you know, rip 120 mil, you, you know, you kind of lost 30, you didn't make any money, but uh, I don't play RuneScape to make GP, I play RuneScape to make content, so that's the big difference between, uh, being upset about losing GP and taking advantage of losing GP. So, but with that being said, I just want to say thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a comment or a like below. And if you have any suggestions as to what you want to see me do for 30 to 100 hours over time, feel free to leave a comment about it. I do take every comment into account. And yeah, just always remember that Revenants is all about how long you stay here and how good your RNG is. And I would say mine was good, but it could always be better or worse. So with that being said, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. And until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.